Good afternoon. This is your cause for thought. We've been talking about Nicodemus in John chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. Um, please read them again for yourself. But we got up to the fact where Jesus had said to Nicodemus, unless a man had been born again. And I pointed out that that meant from your same source as your first birth. Nicodemus is thinking naturally and he says, well, how can a man get a second time into his mother's womb? But Jesus is, is not. Jesus is thinking spiritually. Where was the source of the first birth? Well, that was in Genesis 2-7, where God breathed on man and man became a living soul. And Jesus said, you've got to be born again from the same source. Now, Nicodemus must have known that God said to Adam, in the day that you eat thereof, you will surely die. Or, in dying, you will die. In other words, in dying in your relationship to me, it will bring about physical death. Many people today turn around and say, but Adam didn't die. But he did. His relationship with God was totally severed. He was separated from God. This is why Jesus is saying to Nicodemus, you must be born again from the same source as your first birth. God has got to breathe into you the breath of life again, that you may establish that relationship. Nicodemus is quite taken aback. And Jesus continues, unless a man is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot see, or cannot enter, sorry, the kingdom of God. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. Have you entered the kingdom of God? Can you honestly say, I know that I know that I've been born again? Think on these things. God bless you. Bye-bye.